what's been keeping me sane? Not much. Um, but <laughs> listening to a lot of music, a lot of podcasts. I think I promised people that I'd put a music and podcast list together and I have not delivered. So my apologies on that because I will be following up since there was so much good just content out in the world in the past year um, that I want to give a shout out to what was really interesting and what really I think kept me entertained this year. And of course, you know, it's literally open invite. If there's anything that ever moves you in the world of music or podcasts, please let me know in my comments. You know, I rely on this stuff genuinely. Okay, looking at these other questions. Morning or night person? I am an afternoon person, solidly. I'm trying to become a morning person. I'm usually up early anyway for work, and so I'm trying to make it more productive. If you see on my mama's page, we have started going on sunrise walks, and my parents are much more consistent, but I've joined at least four times now, so it's basically like I just created a habit. How many times do you have to do it until it's a habit? I asked a question like somebody could answer that for me. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to become a morning person because my peak hours are between 12 and 4 in a day. And I think <laughs> I should have a little more. I should have um, so a little more time on my hands at this age. Okay. This one's interesting. And I think I the reason I chose this one is because um, this is after having hair and makeup done. Um, and even though I do post a lot with, with nothing on my face, I do want to say the struggle with acne and discoloration is so real. Um, I'm lucky to have some great teams that help me manage it, but when I tell you I cycle through and get at least one super bad breakout a year and then I'm always dealing with different bumps and, and trying to deal with dark marks and stuff and so I'm always experimenting, always trying new products. I had to stop myself from DIYing my skincare because I was that person that was like, benzoyl peroxide and apple cider vinegar. I don't think that's a wonderful combination for your skin, so I'm, I'm trying to find other things to do. And then also, I, I know everyone's uh, everyone's always like, you always, people are always like, ah, oh, drink water. Um, and there's so much more to it <laughs> than that. But I have started drinking chlorophyll water. It tastes like water with like um, the scent of spinach. But I got used to it pretty quickly. I don't exactly know what it does, but I feel like it's working. Um, okay, what else in here? I'm getting a lot of requests to join the live, and next time when I come more prepared to actually be on IG, I will do that with folks. That'll be fun. Hmm. Favorite musical artist at the moment? Um, well, you already know that I love Chloe and Halle, and we have... Diggy on set and Trevor on set, so we have like a super musical cast. We have Ryan on set, like geez, the the music just from our cast alone, incredible. Um, but I'm trying to think if I have to choose somebody <laughs> that I do not work with, it would be Duckworth. His album super good. Oh my goodness, I listen to that all the time. I'm listening to Gravity right now, which I think everyone should be or is already listening to with Brent Fiaz, uh, Tyler the Creator, and Steve Lacey. Um, what else am I listening to? Arlo Parks just dropped an album. Um, and I'm revisiting a lot of music. And I'm listening to a lot of remixes. I'm that person that will find a song I like and then go to SoundCloud immediately and, and type in like insert song name here and be like slowed and reverbed. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, Saeed showed me slowed and reverb songs a year ago and so now I just look up everything slowed and reverbed. Okay. Favorite sport? Uh, I chose this question just to flex because I don't know if y'all know that I'm athletic. I'm like, I mean, I'm, I, I was athletic and I'm getting, and I'm continuing to get more athletic, but, uh, I am a black belt in karate, uh, and I am an excellent hula hooper. 
Uh, so I feel like an all-around all-American athlete over here, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go less of the questions and just look at what y'all are saying in the comments. Oh, so much love is being sent. And lots of people watching Grownish. Thank you. Season 3B up and running and we're about to start shooting season four. Thank you guys for filling the time because I was really, I was really feeling like I was gonna waste this look for a second. <laughs> but I hop on here and my little IG community um, has me and now we are having a good conversation. I have to hop on live more often. I think I should do a birthday live. Fave song on Super Good. Somebody asked me my favorite song on Super Good, which is the album I just referenced by Duckworth, and they said Kiss You Right Now, and I have to agree, Kiss You Right Now is like one of my favorite songs, just period. It should be a soundtrack to every movie, in my mind. I'm glitching just a little bit. People have also took karate for three years. Said you inspired me to vote uh, and register to vote when I turned 18. Ooh, that is such a high accomplishment for like, that is the best compliment to receive. I had a voter registration party for anyone who hasn't known me since I was 18. Um, and it was so exciting to get my friends to come vote. Uh, and it's so exciting whenever I see comments of people who have either registered as soon as possible or also celebrated uh, being able to vote. Uh, it literally makes my day. Any Aquarians on the line? I'm going here. Ooh, I see I've missed some comments from Frank Abney, which by the way, super talented animator and creative. And if you go onto Netflix, like right now ASAP, you can see his uh, animated short canvas, which is marvelous. Somebody said, this was your first year voting? Well, this was a big year to vote. Bravo. I hate to brag, but I am a fourth time voter because I am a primary voter, and each time I literally have to re-educate myself, but it is so exciting. Okay, what else is in these question lists? I'm gonna answer a couple more and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed, cause I went to bed late last night. I mean, this is a low ball. I am an Aquarius, if you cannot tell. And I feel like I am a, a peak Aquarius. And I don't know if everyone feels that way about themselves in their zodiac, but I just feel like whenever I look up descriptions of who an Aquarius is, I'm, I'm pretty textbook. A lot of questions about how much I love Beyonce. I love Beyonce a lot. <laughs> that new Ivy Park drip looks wonderful. Am I still in school? Yup. How old am I? 21 and 5 6. Oh, no, I'm 20 and 5 6. <laughs> Mommy said we want to see the whole hairstyle. Let me flex. Because uh, Fessa really put her foot in this. Can we, can we appreciate the geometry? You're about to see my super large head. Do we see? Do we see? Do we appreciate? Wave chat. check <laughs> I know if my brothers are on this live they're laughing at me from the other room <laughs> uh -huh. I see some Aries in the comments somebody said what is a primary voter and because I just said that and kind of moved on I thought why not explain it I mean I basically just coined a term it just means that I vote in my primary election which is 
usually an election that happens some months before any sort of major general election. Election, presidential election, or midterm election. Uh, and oftentimes on those ballots you have local measures and if there's anybody on your ballot um, in a November election. Okay, I have a genuine question. I feel like I'm always asking people for music suggestions and I promise you I'm on the other side of this phone taking it in and not just asking. Um, but I am kind of in a lag period in which I feel like I wake up and I don't know what to listen to, which is such a strange feeling for me because I'm always listening to music. And so I literally just keep hitting shuffle until something hits. And even though there's so many great songs, I don't know. I just, I need something to move my soul right now. So if anyone <laughs> has any suggestions for anything that has moved their soul, please let me know. Okay. Dream car, a car. My, my dream, <laughs> I don't have a dream car. I have a dream to get my license, which will be happening ASAP. A prom invite, I appreciate it. We're staying COVID safe over here, so maybe if it's virtual. And then, oh, I see some college freshmen in the in the uh, comments and in the questions. I'm sending everyone love. I know college is so different right now, especially for people that are either just entering or they're seniors. So, I mean, I just have so much love for you all because I know that this is a crazy transition to be in school. Um, but I am I'm manifesting that this interesting moment of a freshman year will translate into a wonderful, healthy, safe sophomore year. Yeah, I'm about to screenshot some of these suggestions before they fly by. Okay. Screenshot. Thank you. Okay, guys. I feel like I'm talking in circles a little bit, but I appreciate you getting on here with me and making sure that this look does not go to waste. And for always asking great questions. I'll, I'll, I'll be on here more often. Maybe I should do one when Ronish episodes air. Okay. I'm going to do one last just kind of pose for the people. I'm in a cute little sweatered number. The silence is deafening on this side of the camera, FYI. Because whenever anybody's on live and they screenshot, it's always me mid-talk. I'm always like, ah, rah, 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 rah. so here's, here's a chance to, okay, I'm done. I'm messing around. I'm done. <laughs> Love you all. Have a good night.